In today's video, we're going to do a tour of Harvest Cay's beaches, the flight house, uh, the lagoon, areas that I got told to leave, and we're going to see where to get the beach wheelchairs. I sped the video up quite a bit. I wanted you to get a sense of how many of uh, these uh, loungers are available, but I didn't want to have to spend all day letting you watch. Um, there is an abundance of, of places to lay out of the sun. In just a second, uh, that's a Landshark uh, bar and grill. It's a Jimmy Buffett uh, operation, but none of the food and beverage on the islands included. These clamshells are available for rent. I didn't price them. Uh, they weren't getting a lot of action this particular day. It was cool uh, and really, really breezy, as you can see from the palm trees. So there wasn't a lot of demand for shade. And I'll say this too, there's an abundance of shade. There's uh, those umbrellas you see in the distance all along the beach. Uh, we've got a, a bar and a, a beer cart uh, with a bicycle operation on it. Right here, uh, over on the left, this building is where we get uh, beach wheelchairs. My wife does uh, use uh, a mobility device. She's in her wheelchair right now. Um, we tried out the beach wheelchairs. They work really well. The one downside of the beach wheelchair, you can't take them in the water. So if you really needed a beach wheelchair, I don't know that they're much help if you're trying to get in the water. Uh, in the distance, you can see uh, paddle boats, uh, stand-up paddle boards, and kayaks that are available to rent. And you have to stay in this lagoon that's over here in the, uh, to the left. And as we go along, we're going to see a lot of this lagoon. It's a lot larger than I thought it was. Um, so it would be an interesting place to tour around. This is the flight house, and we're going to stop here and watch uh, for just a second. I'm going to actually uh, do a little bit of a zoom in. There's going to be somebody uh, sail off the flight house here in just a second. You're going to get just a brief look at it because the sun is in a really bad position, so I couldn't follow them. This goes all the way across the, the bay over by the ship. Now on the other side there's somebody getting ready to go the other direction and I didn't know this existed till the, this is the first time I had noticed it. I've been to Harvest Cay several times but you can see there's somebody going off the other side the other direction. We'll see where they wind up going as we go along on uh, our tour here. I was watching to see if somebody else came off and they didn't. Um, so you'll notice there's a landing board and a ramp or steps right there to the left and what happens is the way this is set up is you go over to a like this guy's going now you'll see him get up by the landing place here in just a second so he went and he landed what he's going to do is he's going to take another short zip line and then climb up a ramp and take another zip line back so it's like a u-shaped uh, zip line we'll see the the places where they can they change here in just a second there you can see there's two sets of cables. The lagoon is still over there on our left. Uh, there's, uh, it's kind of mostly hidden from view. They've planted a lot of vegetation in here. Yeah, you'll see some people come by on a kayak in a minute. Uh, I think that, like I said, we didn't rent anything this time. It was colder and I didn't want to get wet. Uh, but I think that it might be a lot of fun to rent a, a paddle board or to rent a kayak and travel around this lagoon. Now in just a second, you start to see now there's uh, there's the landing place for the, the longer of the pieces of the zip line on this side of the island. And then what happens is there's another little short zip line we'll see in just a second. And you can see on the side there, there are some people out there in, in kayaks. So there you go. So there's a little short zip line. And then directly overhead, and we'll get a look at it in a minute once I come back, uh, there is a... Uh, like a catwalk that takes you up to another platform. So there's somebody landing. They'll come across on the zip zip line to this pole we just passed. Then they'll climb up a, a uh, like a rope catwalk uh, to another platform and then go back over by the flight house. So it's really a pretty involved uh, set of uh, activities on this side of the island. And I think this is brand new. There's also uh, like a place for kids with... Um, or you can climb on netting and, and uh, there's some activities there. This You can see a, a good look now at the lagoon. It goes out and goes around. Now I'm going to try to go up there and see how much of it I can see and you'll see what happens here in just a couple of seconds because I'm going to go over here and I'm going to start into this area to the left. There's a big sand pile there. and You'll see uh, coming up right about now 
there's going to be a guard. He's over to the right of that sand pile. And he's going to suggest that I leave. So you can see him right there. And so I turn around and I'm going to, I'm going to leave the, and, and go back. Now you get a good lick at the, um, the first landing on this side, the second landing on this side, and the rope walk that takes them up and then back down toward the, the, the flight house. These on the right, that umbrella we just walked by, that is a shade so that you can wait for the carts that run up and down. Now, this is the bathroom uh, over on this side of the island. Uh, all the bathrooms, they do a good job of being handicapped accessible, boardwalk out, and then a ramp up. The bars, on the other hand, have steps. So that was the one thing that I noticed on the island that was really pretty much not uh, accessible. Now the guard we just walked is protecting the uh, beach area that's separate for those that rented cabanas. So the cabanas now would be uh, back in behind me. You don't go far without a bar but like I said you can't get to the most of the bars unless maybe you had a beach wheelchair. In fact one of them I don't think I got a video of it I probably have a picture somewhere but one of them they had a ramp but there was like five feet of sand between the sidewalk and the ramp and that sand is not something you'll push a conventional wheelchair through and in fact my last visit I had to help a lady that got her uh, mobility scooter stuck in the sand it's just you know it's pretty loose pretty fluffy stuff like I said it's a little on the coarse side but it's loose and fluffy you can see where people are sitting here waiting for the the golf cart that's on the other side you just saw it going out it'll turn around and come back and pick up people and take them back over to the ship it's a long walk uh, from one end of this island to the other. Uh, I didn't look up to see exactly how far. And there's my bride in her wheelchair waiting for me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you did enjoy, please go ahead and hit the like and the subscribe buttons. We've got a lot more videos coming up. You're really going to enjoy them. We'll see you next time.